Another opportunity in Tennessee. Um, this guy is also willing to sell for what he owes. Um, let me think of the, the numbers here. Um, ARV 192, asking price 128. Um, he owes. Uh, now I'm now I'm messing it up here. I think he owes only like 40 grand. Okay. So obviously he's selling for what you owe. It's not an opportunity. But um, I asked him if he'd be willing to do like this sub two plus. And it sounds like he's somewhat open to that. Awesome. Um, market rent is 1300 It's currently rented to a tenant, long-term tenant. Now here's where I almost fall over my chair being a long-term ten long-term landlord. This guy has been in there seven years. He's never raised the rent and he's charging a thousand bucks rent. And I tell him underlying I, payment. Underlying payment, there's two mortgages. Um, so they both add up to 700. Plus w w including tax and insurance. Taxes and insurance altogether. Um, what he shared with me, it came out to about 830, right? Okay. So even if I just take over this and keep this tenant in there, that's still 170 bucks cash flow, but she's not ready to buy. He's been trying to get her to buy, but she's just not ready. What's the um, rent? What's the rentometer or right? something show? What's the rent show for that property? Uh, 1300. 1300. Yeah. So if she were to stay in there, rent would go up at least by a hundred, but I'd rather just kick her out and find somebody who's going to pay market rent or obviously buy it on terms like, um, like lease purchase sort of thing. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Sounds good. Now is this guy behind on payments or he's, this is just a regular sale. Oh, uh, Ian's going in and out. Yeah, Ian, I got you unmuted. Are you there? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I may only have just a few minutes left, though. Um, question. So, yeah, the guy's kind of desperate. He needs to move out of state. He just wants to have it off his back. But he was open to this kind of terms, right? But yeah. he was one of those that, well, send me some paperwork. I'll run it by my attorney. And one of those kind of answers. So, I didn't want that to be like why he runs away. Um, so I want to come back with another play. So I said, Hey, you know, if your attorney box at this, which you may, let's just take it back to the drawing board. I can buy it in a few different ways. So that's how I left it. Um, I just didn't want him to run away because here I was trying to get the best deal out of, you know, a sub two where it could be maybe a sub two plus could be did you, finance. Did you tell him you were going to send uh, send paperwork? Yeah, you know what I did? You know, he's old school, so he wanted me to mail it to him. But I convinced him to take an email. Blair, you had shared in the pipeline group, you know, when it's no to terms, here's all the reasons why you should take terms. So I just kind of drafted up that letter, sent it two-day mail, sent him an email, and I told him I was going to follow him Monday. Okay, so that's probably fine for this guy, but I would uh, suggest that you take this attitude of – Look, Mr. Seller, if I go to all the trouble of like typing up this agreement here, first we have to have an agreement. Do we have a meeting of the minds before I can even send any paperwork to you at all? I wouldn't even know yeah. what to put in the agreement because we don't have an agreement yet. Right. And even then, once you get to the meeting of the minds and you have an agreement in, in principle and he asks you, okay, send the contract over, I'll review it. It's like, look, man, before I go to all this trouble of put, you know, putting this together, writing it up, sending it to you in the mail, if I do this, are you ready to do business? Is there anything that would keep you from selling your house to me this way? Perfect. Like just, just make it, you know, you don't have to be rude about it, but like take this idea of like, look, man, I don't know if you heard on a call recently, but Dawn Horn, she was like, I don't want to even drive half an hour to go see a house unless I got it signed up already. Like, yeah. it's like. It's like too much trouble. Like, just tell me we're going to do this or not because I don't want to waste my time sending paperwork out to you if we're not going to do this. Right. And Good. as the lawyer, you can always ask him, 
Great. Send it to your lawyer, but is the lawyer just there to review the legality of this document or are they there to try and renegotiate the whole deal? Because we yes. won't tolerate that. We're gonna, we, we will part uh, friends right now if we're going to go that route. Okay. So you get an agreement from them that, oh, he's just there to make sure that the document comports to the proper legal requirements for that, that community. <clears throat> Um, sure. If you know, it comes back and well, the lawyer thinks I ought to get twelve hundred and seventy-four dollars a month. You know, pound sand, dude. We're not doing business that way. You just told me yep. he was only here to check out to make sure that all this document was correct according to North Carolina law, or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so mm -hmm. you get him. You get him to say that up front, and then you hold yep. it to. That's good, and uh, I need to be more of not really the hard ass, but. You know, like you said, Blair, like, <clears throat> take it or leave it. I don't really care. Like, are we going to do business or not? Like, right. yeah. next, you know. Because, look, you, you got a, a stack of seller leads on your desk right now yeah. waiting for you to call them and help them. I don't have time to waste buying this guy's house <laughs> if you're not going to do business the way I need you to do business. I got yep. deals coming out of my ears over here. I, got, I just found some in a drawer the other day. Like, I got them on the shelf piling up back here. Behind Jeff's hat there, you know? A bunch of them. There are. The whole body of them right here. Look at this. All deals. <laughs> yeah. I got to yeah. get a second pair of glasses just to read them. There's so many of them. Well, that's good. Yeah, I, think, I think you get it. I get it. Thank you, guys. Yeah. That's yeah. all I got. Thanks, Ian. All right. Thank you. All right. And something else for Ian and for everybody out there, especially the 90-day crew, um, the deals that we're seeing are getting to be so good out there right now. Keep your powder dry. You're going to get the next deal. Just wait a few minutes. If you don't like this deal, wait a few minutes and get the next one. You know, there are deals out there where you can pick up $100,000 sitting on the sidewalk. And I mean, I'm not kidding you. There's deals out there that are like that right now. Um, yeah. And there'll be more for at least the next, I think, six to nine months. So don't... Uh, don't burn all your energy on the deal in front of you if it doesn't make sense. Just be prepared to walk away.